Today, I'll be demonstrating how to use three custom Photoshop brushes for digital art. These are all Blender brushes found in my Blenders category. The first is Fur Blender, the second is Thick Blender, and the third is Spongy Blender. So let's take a look at Fur Blender first. I'll be demonstrating on this painting of my cat. Now, as soon as I hover my pen over the canvas, I might notice that the dab rotates a little bit if I tilt my pen. Now, this is assuming that your pen supports pen tilt. This is important because the direction of the hair is going to change depending on where you're painting on your animal. So I'm going to tilt the tip of my pen up with the eraser end tilting down. That puts it at this orientation here. And then I'll go ahead and blend. I'm going to go back and forth like this. Now, I can also make these hairs bigger by increasing the scale of the brush. So I'm going to make them quite a bit bigger, maybe something like this. I'll continue blending up and down. And what I'm getting is this really nice hair texture as I'm blending. Now I can continue to tilt my pen to try to get the right angle here. And that's really going to help. Now there isn't a whole lot of contrast in this area, so let's do some over on the cheek here. And you can see I can tilt my pen and I can change the angle of the strokes. Now if we go in and we tweak the properties of this brush, we can go to Shape Dynamics, and we can also set the angle from pen tilt to rotation. And if you're using the Wacom Art Pen, which can sense barrel rotation, you can very easily just rotate your pen to change the angle, which is really nice. Now I can go in here and very easily just change that angle in a more natural way. I'll create a gradient here. I'll go to Fur Blender, make my fur a little bit larger, and I'm just going to paint back and forth. And as you can see, this is giving me a really nice fur texture. I'm going to pull some of the light into the dark and some of the dark into the light. And I can get a really nice fur effect without having to draw a million hairs by hand. Now I'm going to turn on this layer called Background. And let's take a look at the next brush, Spongy Blender. This has a really nice spongy dab. And if I paint on this background layer, you can see that I can break up these shapes and smudge the paint around. I get this really nice fractal pattern. I can even pull the paint around like so. So it's like I'm using a sponge to dab the canvas. If you make your brush smaller, then your texture, of course, is going to be smaller and finer. If you make it larger, then it'll, of course, be larger. But this gives you some really nice spongy effects. Go ahead and hide that background layer. I'm going to go to this layer now called Blending. Now I'm going to use this to demonstrate the next blender, which is called Thick Blender. I'm going to go ahead and pull out a stroke on the purple here. If I press hard versus pressing lightly, then I get a different effect. And I can kind of press hard and then taper off my stroke. What this is doing is if I press light, I get a bit more grain and not so much bristling. If I press hard, then I get more bristling and less grain and the paint kind of fades out. So there's a certain kind of stroke you want here. You just want to kind of pull your paint like so. And you could use this along the edges to make the edges look more painterly. You could, of course, kind of scrub it like this to blend stuff up. It's really a nice blender. And just to show you how the spongy blender looks on this demonstration, I'll use it here. You can see I get that nice spongy effect as I'm blending. And here's fur blender. And I can rotate the angle of the fur as I'm blending. And if I make my brush larger, then that fur, of course, will be larger. So there you go, that's a demonstration of my three new Blender brushes for Photoshop. You can download those using the link in the description of this video. If you're interested in checking out more of my Photoshop brushes, here's a playlist that I'll link you to. Thanks for watching and enjoy the brushes.